What is going on everybody and welcome to another Minecraft command block tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to create a kill count for mobs or a mob kill count or whatever you want to call it. Um, I called the scoreboard objective kill count so that's what I'm going to call it in this. Now I'm not going to do a download. I'm not going to uh, guys give you a schematic or anything because uh, this is a very sensitive machine and I kind of want to explain it because I'm hoping you guys who have been watching can implement and maybe use these commands because I'm going to show you some very new commands that you guys may not be familiar with uh, that I'm using to create this kind of uh, scoreboard objective. Now this is uh, only works in the beta because it is using scoreboards so if you guys don't have that uh, you can kind of save the video until scoreboards come out and you can kind of test it out or use it on PC or whatever. So anyway if I uh, turn this on it will create all the scoreboard objectives, do everything for me, create, turn everything on. I mean, everything's good. We're good. Uh, and then if I summon in this pig here and I kill it, you guys will see that my name now appears in the kill count and I have a one. Even if I kill it right here next to uh, Dacon Black Rose 2 here, it still gives it to me because I am the player that killed it. Now, if I summon the pig and I go ahead and come over here to my Xbox player. Oh no, <laughs> they turn around. Okay, so I uh, kill it with him. Uh, you guys see that I now have a scoreboard uh, added to Daycom Black Rose 2, which is my Xbox account. So this does work on Xbox. For all you people who say stuff don't work on Xbox, it works on Xbox, okay? That's my account for Xbox. I'm gonna leave the controller there and I'm going to kind of just go over the commands and kind of show you some some really cool stuff. So yeah, works for every single entity. So if I summon this villager and I kill the villager, you'll see that I go to three. If I summon uh, a slime, uh, it will give me another one. Now I added the firework because you guys know fireworks are my most favorite particle and I almost add it to everything I do. But yeah, if you guys wanted to change the firework to like lightning or whatever, you could do that. So it's going to be kind of a long video because I'm going to go over every single command. I'll have them all in the description if you guys want. And that is pretty much it. You don't need a lot of this stuff, but uh, yeah, and let me just turn it off and just kind of go over. Uh, so let's, you might have to press it twice. Um. Now, uh, okay, if you do this, um, real quick, this is a command you're going to need to do first. You're going to need to kill everything that's not a player, because the machine might be a little laggy for some people, so you might want to press it a few times after you turn the machine on, or maybe turn it off, turn it on. Uh, you're just going to have to kill some stuff around you, because it's going to need to test for every single mob in the game and it's gonna be like crazy so I made it to where it's only within 10 blocks of a player uh, which creates a little less lag but still you might want to create something like that anyway let's get into the command so the first one will be execute at all players uh, so it's gonna execute at all players and it's gonna execute at things you don't want so uh, type equals not a player type equals not an item type equals not an experience orb type equals not a firework rocket and i would add type equals not an armor stand because guys if you create this you cannot use or have armor stands in your world because it is very important the only way i was able to create this without some crazy scoreboards um basically was using armor stands armor stands are like a big thing and if you use them in decorations you use them in any other commands this will not work. This is the only thing that requires armor stands and is, is it's it's a big thing. So if you use armor stands, have another command that uses them, you can't use this one. It's going to break the other one. Uh, and this one will dominate over that other one. I'm telling you. Uh, so anyway, R equals 10. And then it's going to do a scoreboard player set at all entities. Every single entity that's not a player, not an item, not an armor stand, not a firework rocket, or not an experience orb, and it's going to put it into a scoreboard objective called E Type 1. Now, this command, when it turns on, is giving all of these scoreboard objectives right here. Uh, it's going to be adding a scoreboard objective set sidebar kill count. Um, this one's going to be adding the scoreboard objective M type from mob type. This one's going to be adding a scoreboard objective kill count dummy, which you could change to um, mob kills or whatever. Uh, and then this one's going to be adding a scoreboard objective to E type for the entity type. This one's going to be adding a scoreboard objective to on a live score. And this one is uh, basically the ones I'll show at the end. Um, but anyway, after that first command, after you've already done all of your scoreboards there, uh, the second command, now these are all going to be unconditional chain, always active and stuff. So yeah, except for the very last two, which I'll show you. Uh, executed all, all entities with a score of entity type 1. Uh, we'll basically kill an armor stand below them four blocks. So 
it's always gonna kill this armor. So this is how you test if something is alive or dead. Uh, anyway, let's go into this. Now, some of these might give you a little confusion, so if you kind of are confused, do hashtag confused in the comments because I'm probably gonna get a lot of those. Uh, execute AE scores equal entity type one, summon an armor stand negative four blocks below the entity. Uh, then this would scoreboard player set that armor stand to an, a score uh, zero to an alive dummy. Now this one's going to execute at E scores equal E type one negative four scoreboard players set at the armor stand R zero, which is basically count one. You can do that too, but basically the armor stand that's below any entity type with a score of one will be set to an alive score of one. That means the mob is alive. It has not died. If it does die, it'll kill the armor stand and this one comes over here uh, this one's teleporting the armor stand with an alive score zero to the uh to the entity with if it's not a player not an armor stand not a firework not an experience orb not an item uh to the scores of the e-type one and then this one uh, did, yeah that was kind of confusing but <laughs> this one is even more confusing we're getting into operations now a lot of you guys don't know about operations so if you guys do want me to bring back command block school I could start with scoreboard objectives because there's a lot of stuff. This one is one, and then I'm going to show you the ones that are next to it at the end of the video that are brand new that a lot of you guys have no clue that were even added in the game, and I just didn't show them because I didn't know they were that important until I created this system here. But anyway, executing an E score of an E type one, negative four blocks below scoreboard player's operations. So. Oper the armor stand count one m type equals the e type score of e type count one e type so basically operations is basically equaling so it's going to execute at any entity with an e type one and as long as there's f negative four below it uh it's going to then scoreboard the operation of an armor stand which is every single armor stand to anything that is alive it's only going to do it one time which is count one it's going to then uh, do the scoreboard objective M type, which is going to then equal to the E type one entity to E type. It's basically saying, yeah, there is an entity that's alive, basically. Uh, now, this one here is going to execute at the, in the armor stand of an alive score zero, count one, summon a firework rocket. Basically, if the armor stand dies, um, which is when you kill the mob, it will then summon a firework rocket, which if you want to do lightning bolt or something else you could do that and you're going to need to do four blocks above because the armor stand is four blocks below uh so that's how that works now those are all unconditional every single one except for these two which will be chain conditional always active uh so basically whenever it kills an entity uh whenever you kill the entity it will then kill the armor stand scores of alive zero count one basically if you kill the entity the armor stand is immediately set to a score of zero which will then kill it and then this one will be executed E types of firework rocket count one executed a player within five blocks of the firework rocket then adding that player within five blocks of it closest player to the mob that you just killed kill count one so that's pretty cool uh now getting into these over here are some new stuff can't wait to show you guys all right so something you could see here for effect at all players with a score kill count uh equal to 30 two dots now these two dots are more so basically any kill any any int, any player with a kill count of 30 or more will get speed one one true forever basically if you kill 30 mobs you get speed forever if you, and, uh, instead of testing for a 30 to 1000 this is another way to do it it will basically say okay you have 33 kills uh, that's more than 30 so you're good to go you're getting a speed effect and this one is 200 or more absorption uh, so if you kill 200 mobs you get absorption now you can change these if you want um, the way I did this is uh, repeat needs redstone so if this is powered all of these are unconditional which will immediately power every single one like a repeat command uh, now this one's doing the absorption this one is doing the kill count 120 or more haste uh, and this one's doing a speed too so you could change those to whatever you want that's exactly how you do it depending on what you wanted to add and that is pretty much it now these are getting rid of these scoreboard objectives doing a little field clock for redstone this one's getting rid of the redstone and this one 
is making any armor stand with a score alive of one, which is saying, yes, the armor stand is alive, it'll giving it invisibility. So you don't see it on the mobs when they jump and stuff. So that is, that is it for the command, guys. That is how you create a kill counter type of kill mob thing for multiplayer for that. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like, comment down below. I know it was a long video and stuff and things, but yeah. If you guys want to see some more commands or you have any ideas and suggestions, leave them in the comments below and I will try and recreate them. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the rest of your day. I'm Dacon Black Rose and I'm out. Bye! <laughs> Fire, be careful, son. But we were flames and fire.